7.1. The cold stream enters at 50, and I didn't actually show you over here, but it exits at, I don't know, 107.2. I'm just, <laughs> just guessing that value, something like that. Um, so this means when you guys take classes in, um, this is also a very common problem in transport. Um, I always, I don't do transport problems because I think those are less accessible because you guys don't have fluids. You don't have fluid dynamics yet. But these problems are not only common in heat exchange and mass exchange, they're very common in fluid dynamics and fluid transport, fluid mechanics. So when you take that class, you'll see problems like this. So that way, if Professor Davis, whoever might teach the class to you, gives you a problem like this, you'll know. Just convert the problem into an initial value problem and attempt to solve it that way. We're done. All right. That's the end of the class. All right. So um, if you have any questions, since we have a few time, I can answer those. I'll hang out in the front here for a few minutes if you want to talk to me. Otherwise, I'll see you Monday. Right? It's 1 o'clock here for the final. So for the problem we were just doing,